All right, in this video, we're gonna look at uh, how to graph motion. And this is largely in response to um, people having questions regarding the lab and the graphing section on the lab. So, we need to make sure that we're looking at the correct thing. So let's start with graphing distance versus time. So if we have distance versus time, we have distance and we have time. This, what would that mean? As you go up and draw that line, you are getting, let's draw it in a different color, you are getting further away to the right. Okay, the reason I know this is because this is distance we're measuring and the numbers are increasing. Okay, and it's the distance that's increasing. Okay, we could also go to the left. This is also getting further away. It's the numbers are getting bigger, but it's getting further away to the left. So this would be, it's getting further away to the left. Okay, so similarly, this section would be, um, it's moving closer from your right. So it's getting closer. and it's coming from the right. So it's on your right side. This way it's coming, oops, wrong color. This way it's coming closer, but it's from your left. Okay, so the positives are right, the negatives are left, and it's either getting further away on your right or it's getting further away on your left. Uh, if we had a straight line uh, like this, this would be um, not moving on your right. And the other option would be something like that would be not moving on the left. Okay. And the reason I know this, once again, is I'm focusing on that. It's the distance. What is happening? Is it getting further away? Is it not moving? And right here at zero, it's on me. Because it's the distance away from me is zero, so it's right where I'm at. Okay. Let's look at... Um, velocity versus time. So with velocity versus time, if we have this line, let's draw a different color. This line is um, faster to the right. So it's moving to the right, speeding up, because it's going faster. This line, it's faster to the left. And I know it's going faster because the numbers are getting bigger again. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. The negative just means to the left. But the, the size of the number is getting bigger. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. So it's going faster. Uh, this way would be slower. Uh, it's going slower to the right, so it's still moving to the right. It's just um, slowing down. And this way would be slower to the left, because it's getting closer to zero. So I think kind of about, oops, wrong color. Uh, this right here is my zero, 
and it's measuring my velocity at zero. So V at zero means not moving. Okay, and then if we kind of go with the same thing as last time, and we look at a straight line, a straight line would be, uh, I can keep it the same color, it's going to be the same speed to the right, and that would be the same speed to the left. Okay. Let's move on to the next one. Uh, there are There is acceleration versus time, but we're going to skip that one. We're going to look at force versus time. Time. Okay. So this would mean pushing harder to the right. This is pushing harder to the left. This is uh, pushing weaker to the right. That would be pushing weaker to the left. So just think positive is right, negative is left. If it's going up, it's going to the right, but it's getting more. And if it's going like uh, this section here, if it's going down into the positive, then it's still getting pushed to the right. It's just getting pushed less. Okay. And then of course, uh, we have our straight lines. So our straight line would be uh, same force to the right, and this would be uh, same force to the left. So let's look at some examples. Okay, uh, let's look at our lab. So for the lab, we had um, a cart, and the cart was moving to the right. So it was moving to the right, and then the car stopped. And then at the end, uh, the car was moving to the left. So this was at the start, the middle, and the end. Okay, so the first question in the lab had you graph force and time. Okay, so when it's asking you to graph the force, don't look at which way it's moving. Don't look at how fast it's moving. You're looking for the force. So you're looking for what is pushing it. In this lab, the thing pushing it was the fan. The fan was pushing it to the left. Okay, in the middle, it did stop. Did the fan stop pushing it? Think about the force. The fan was kept pushing it. The fan did not turn off. The fan did not kick to a higher gear and push stronger. At the end, the fan was still pushing it to the left. So because the fan didn't go higher, because the fan didn't turn off, because the van didn't slow down, the fan was pushing at a constant rate. It was a constant push. And which direction, positive or negative? It was a negative because it's going to the left. Okay. Um, we are ignoring, and the problem said, ignore the hand pushing the car. So we're starting it after the car is already moving it to the right. So we're not looking at the hand pushing. We're just looking at the fan, and the fan is always pushing to the left, and it's always pushing the same. All right, let's do the same thing for um, another example. Uh, let's look at um, gravity. Okay, 
let's throw a ball. And we're going to throw this ball up, and it's going to come down. So let's do the same thing. Let's graph uh, force and time. So I'm looking at the push. At the beginning, where is the push? The push is gravity is pushing down. It's the force of gravity. What about here at the top? What's the push? The push is the force of gravity. At the bottom, what is the push? The push is the force of gravity. Once again, I'm ignoring the hand throwing the ball up. So as soon as your hand lets go of it, what's happening to it? The only thing pushing it is gravity. And does gravity push stronger at the beginning, at the middle, or at the end? No, gravity's pushing the same. So it's going to be a straight line, positive or negative? Negative, because it's going down. All right, uh, let's look at another example. Uh, let's look at a 0 to 60. So let's say, um, let's go green again. Let's say you have a car, and you're not moving, and then the light turns green, and now you're going... 60 miles an hour or 60 meters per second so 0 to 60 let's do the same thing let's graph the force versus the time what is pushing it if you floor it the whole time what's pushing it the push is the car engine the engine is going to push the same so if it's pushing the same, then it's going to be a straight line. This one would be to the right. So you might ask, okay, all these velocities, sorry, all these forces are straight lines. When would the force not be a straight line? Um, so let's look at an example of when the force would not be a straight line. Uh, to not be a straight line, you have to push stronger or you have to push weaker. So an example would be like dying batteries. Uh, so if you have a remote control car and then it's moving along and then I'm going to have an arrow here. It's going to be a shorter arrow and then a shorter arrow and then it's eventually going to stop. Okay, the batteries are dying in this remote control car. So now we're going to do the same thing, force and time. Here, it's pushing hard, strong batteries. Here, it's pushing weaker. Here, it's pushing weaker. And at the end, there's no push. So in this situation, it's going down. Okay? Actually, it's not really going down. I don't really want to say down, because this would also work uh, if it was going to the left. But I want to get closer to zero. It's getting closer to zero force. But because it's going to the right, it is going to be doing that. If this was flipped going to the left, uh, it would totally go this way. Because it's starting with, it's going to the left, and it went from a high force to zero. So you don't, don't think of it as going down. Think of it as going towards zero and no force pushing it. All right, I want to quickly go over the same exact problems but this time I want to do velocity. So let's do same situation with our lab, velocity versus time. So remember for the lab, the car started moving to the right. So let's focus on, let's make this one blue. What happened to the velocity? Velocity. So it started going fast, actually it started uh, it was fast, and then it slowed down, and it stopped, and then it sped up, going to the left. So it slowed down, going to the right. It stopped, and it sped up, going to the left. So what would that look like? Slowing down, going to the right would be like this. It stopped, and now it's speeding up to the left. So some of you might think, okay, it's that. But nope, it's speeding up, but it's going to the left. Left tells us it has to be negative. So it's going to be a straight line like that because it's getting bigger 
negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. It's getting bigger, but it's going to the left. All right, let's do another one. Let's do the gravity one. So this one, uh, it's going to be kind of the same thing. What's happening to, I'm focusing now on the speed. So the speed on the way up, it slows down, it stops, and it speeds up. It slows down going up, and it speeds up going down. So actually this one's going to look the same. It's going to slow down going up. And then it's going to speed up going down. Let's try this one, 0 to 60. Okay. So I'm thinking about the velocity. Oops, I didn't put my axes on there. Veloc velocity versus time. So here it was going, it was stopped. And then it's going faster to the right. So it would look like that. Going to the right and faster. Cars dying. Last one. So once again, I'm focusing on my y-axis is velocity. So what's happening to the velocity? It started fast to the right, and then it slowed down to the right, and then at the end, it stopped. So the graph would look like this. Okay. All right. Hopefully that made sense. Um, once again, just kind of look at the beginning. Uh, if it's distance versus time, if it's in the upper half, it's going to the right. Lower half, it's moving to the left of you. And it's either going away from you or towards you, okay, based off of um, our distance. Velocity versus time, once again, it's either moving to the right or it's moving to the left. But this time it's either going faster to the right or it's going faster to the left, right? Force, focus on what is pushing it. So just really kind of focus on what's on that y-axis. Hopefully that helped. If you're still confused, um, I'll have some of these on the practice test um, that you can look at and um, ask me some questions.